wingsuit jumps across the globe and just last month They've set world records and carried out countless wingsuit jumps across the globe. And just last month, the husband and wife team were the first to soar over Lake Eyre. But despite plunging out of a plane over the Grand Canyon and flying across the Indian Himalaya, the Aussie couple says their local adventure was one of the most magical yet. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's world record holding wingsuit jumpers Glenn Singleman and Heather Swan. It's one of the most awesome experiences you can imagine and to fly it with, you know, someone you love and our all of team. Your, our team and our friends, it's just, and all the whoa! The courageous couple, along with three others in their team, were the first to take the plunge over Lake Eyre in northern South Australia. Starting at 12,000 feet above the ground, the jumpers soared six kilometres at a speed of 200 k's an hour in a breathtaking three minutes. Probably the most beautiful jump we've done. It was insanely divinely beautiful. <laughs> Having done 1,000 wingsuit flights in the last eight years, the dynamic duo say life is as dangerous as you want to make it. And that sounds quite dangerous to me, Glenn and Heather join us to tell us. First of all, where did you get the love of this sport? Well, I guess, you know, when you're a kid and you dream about stretching out your arms and flying like a bird, wingsuit flying is just like that, except that it's an organised sport and you need special technology and training and physical fitness. But it is, the sensation is just like you imagined as a child. Wow. Why like air, Heather? Because it's an ancient Australian landscape, iconic, we always wanted to go there, it's got water in it and we can experience it using this modern technology in a way that no one else has. How good is it up there? Oh, it was spectacular and this day it put on a spectacular light show for a sunset, the light coming through the clouds, the clouds reflected off the water. Yeah. Now, you two seem very sensible people. And I always think people in wingsuits are nuts. And like um, uh, uh, the movie sucked, but the, the stunts were great. In Point Break, they did a wingsuit thing through the canyons. I'm sitting there going, these people are crazy. Yeah, they're all our friends. <laughs> but it was legitimate. They did it. I mean, that's, right. if you are a good risk manager and you use the right technology, the proper training, and you can overcome your inherent fears of heights, right. then you can manage the risk of that sort of stuff. I mean, it is much, much more organised as a sport than you would imagine. How, how hard is it, Heather, just before we go? How hard how is it? How hard is it? It's yeah, not, on the body. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you need to be very fit. We train very hard to be able to fly the highest performance suits. Really? In, yeah. yeah. We train very hard. On your core? Yeah, and... core strength, muscle, back strength, arm strength. Yeah. Humans are not very good birds, so we have to build the strength right. of our front shoulders like yeah. a bird does. Wow. Well, it is just yeah. amazing vision mm. over yeah. Lake Eyre. Very special. Nice well to meet you. And Love you're not nuts you. at all. No. <laughs> you seem very nice. Yeah.